inna salatu wassalamu ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in amma ba'd so welcome back to our lessons going through the rules of muhimma and we have previously finished um, the fiqh of salah we have finished uh, the rulings pertaining to um, as salah now um, quick announcement before I uh, forget later um, today is going to be the last lesson until uh, the end of next month so all next month there's going to be no lessons just due to me being really busy. However, however, with that being said, uh, I do want to finish this book as soon as possible. So as soon as next month finishes, inshallah, I should be uh, finished with everything else that I'm busy with. After that, then I will increase the lessons that we have. So I want to try to finish this and the rest of the other books of the syllabus as well, you know, within the summer. Um, so um, this month is a means for, I know a lot of new students have joined as well. It's a means for you guys to catch up with the syllabus and uh, uh, and for everybody, else, for everybody else to revise. Also, those that want to, if you started with the beginning and you want to um, revise, uh, if you have revised and you want to move ahead, then start by memorizing uh, 40 hadith of Ramon Nawi. Memorize al Arbain Nawi because it's the next book that we're going to take. Um, and to be honest, um, there's not much left of this book. There's Wudu, which I. Let me have a quick look. How long will Wudu take? Okay. Wudu. Should not take long. Shrut al Wudu, Sunna Fitra, Fruit al Wudu, Nawak al Wudu. Wudu, Wudu, probably the whole thing will probably take about two lessons. Max, if anything, three. Um, we'll get to testing later. Um, yeah, so wudu shouldn't take long. Zakah shouldn't take long either. No, two or three lessons. Uh, Psalm and Hajj, two or three lessons. And then at the end, the, the rest of the book is quite uh, quick. <clears throat> um, no, no, no. The Sunday lessons will continue. The Sunday lessons will continue. Uh, there will be Sunday lessons. Only uh, these lessons we won't have. So those my Arabic students, the Arabic lessons will still be on. And, uh, and the Arabic lessons will be on. And the Sunday lesson will also uh, be on. But as for these, they won't. Just for one month. And then after that, uh, we will uh, come back and we will increase and inshallah try to finish. The plan, the goal is finish the whole syllabus before the new academic year. To finish the whole syllabus before the new academic year. And before September. Um, that's the plan inshallah. Right, so uh, today we're just going to, I mean, today is like revision session. Hopefully you guys revise during the week. Um, I don't have time to test you through, you know, every single phrase that we've done. So what we'll just do, we'll just go through the uh, the questions, the prayer questions, um, inshallah. Let me see who's who's got the mic today, right? Amar, Robert, Roshan, and Taha, right? Um, khas. Any of you guys, just all of you guys can answer at the same time. I don't mind, right? Um, so let's you know, let's try to this as quick as we can, inshallah. So, first question, how many uh, conditions is the prayer of? Nine. Nine, okay. Counting Islam as a condition of the prayer is a mistake since no one prays except a Muslim. False. False. Uh, the age of the differentiation is uh, the age of maturity. Any blue? False. Oh. False. False. Removing impurities includes the body, clothes, and place. True or false? True. True. Those are the Arabic. If you have the Arabic, the answer is incorrect because the Arabic they use rafr al hadith, which if you translate into English, you would say removing spiritual impurities. Removing spiritual impurities. However, um, in the English, this is removing impurities. So the physical impurities, yeah. Um, and um, that would be true. Otherwise, it depends. If you're talking about wudu, then that's obviously different. So those are the Arabic, then it's false, but the English is, is correct. Right, uh, number five, the impurity of pig is severe. 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 Anyone say moderate? Moderate. What do you say, moderate, Amar? Yeah. Amar, why? I can't listen. Because the severe one is a, a dog. The severe one is a dog. And the pig? The pig is not mentioned uh, in the hadith here. Yeah. The pig is a moderate. 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 The pig is a moderate.
and giving the same reason for the pig. However, it shows, uh, the, the correct opinion is that it's not because there, there are differences between a dog and a pig. And secondly, if the pig was known, the pig was known in the time of the Prophet Sallam. However, uh, the Prophet only mentioned the dog and he didn't mention uh, the pig. Um, right, number six, sperm is impure since we have to take a shower after it comes out. So false. 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 So sperm is, is pure, i.e. if you just fall, fall on your clothes, pay with it, then your, uh, then your sperm is accepted. There is no difference in sprinkling water and washing. False. 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 All animals that die before being slaughtered are impure. False. 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 If you push that, you don't push it. Uh, nine. We may wash the saliva of a dog with other than different with sand, a turab, yeah, such as the modern liquids. Oh. Oh, there's khilaf in this because uh, the first one said, "Ula uh, hunna biturab." Make the first one in another narration, "Ukhra hunna." In the narration, "Ihda hunna." One of them with the uh, turab, uh, and some of them have said that the some of them have said that this is specific to a turab. And a turab has certain characteristics that can't be found elsewhere. And some ulama have said, no, the, 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 the intended meaning behind it is that you wash it properly. So if you were to use fairy liquid or other uh, modern liquids that would wash it and clean it, then use that. So it, honestly, this, the answer to this question really depends on which uh, opinion you take in terms of that. However, uh, when we did it with Shaykh Haytham Sarhan, he said, no, he said, you have to use it. As Shaykh Haytham Sarhan said, so the answer here would be, uh, false. Answer here would be uh, false. Number ten: the animals that are difficult to protect one protect oneself from are those that enter and exit often. So the cat may be impure for some, while it's not for others. False. False. The, the, cat, the cat is pure for, for everybody. Um, number eleven: that which does not have the flowing breath, breath here means soul. Right? It, you you only want to understand English. Yeah. I don't know why. They, but what's the answer? Yeah. Or did you understand the question? Oh, <laughs> I have no idea. Because it says nafs in the Arabic, right? Yeah, if you look at the Arabic, yeah. yeah. Okay. So, Robert? Uh, so it's false because nafs means uh, like blood, right? Does it nafs mean soul? Kullu nafs mi ma kasabat rahina. Kullu nafs in the Not here. Not here, right? In, uh, in Arabic, ma la nafs alafu sa'il. Nafs in this context is blood. Uh, so those animals which don't have blood, for example, uh, uh, what do you call them? What's the names of them? Uh, invertebrates? Maybe? No, that's not right. I don't know. No invertebrates. There's a name for it. Like, uh, is it mosquitoes? Mosquitoes don't have blood. Uh, or do they? I don't know. Uh, from Korean, <laughs> name. But you know, that there are many small animals that don't have, they don't have blood inside them. Uh, or flowing uh, blood. No. Uh, that's what it means. It doesn't have any flowing blood. Um, yeah, so that, that question in English doesn't really make sense. You have to sort that out. Uh, number 12, the blood which remains in the veins is impure or pure? Pure. 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 How many pillars does a prayer have? 14. 14. 14. Initial takbir means raising the hands. False. False. What, does, what does it mean? Uh, saying Allah. 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 What's the ruling of raising the hands? Uh, uh, recommended. Um, right. If one forgets to do a pillar, the prostration of forgetfulness is sufficient. False. How many obligations does the prayer have? Eight. Eight. If one says per perfect and holy, the Lord of all angels and the soul, says, All right, Subhanahu Quddus and Rabbul Malak, the Ruh. So, this is another quote, I'm guessing. Or in Sujud, yeah, in Sujud. In uh, intention, he whilst knowing that it is obligatory to say Subhana Rabbi Al-A'la at least once, has invalidated his prayer. True or false? True. 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 It's uh, invalid. You have to say Subhana Rabbi Al-A'la at least once. And after that, you yeah. can add whatever else has been narrated. 18. It is legislated to put the bottom of the right palm on the back uh, of the left palm, uh, wrist, and forearm or, uh, in the prayer. True. True, yeah. Um, the restation is outlawed in the first two units of every obligation prayer that is prayed at night, as well as the prayers which are prayed in the congregation. 
I think so. This question it, sh it should be like the general, like the more general prayers. So it doesn't mean like Dhuhr and and Asr. Yeah, it's um, and the English is a bit. What he means here. So the first part is right when he says, as well as the prayers which are prayed in congregation in Arabic, it says, "Wafi um, kulli salatin yushra'u laha ijtima' ijtima' on aam." The uh, all the other prayers were uh, the those general gatherings of people all come together. So, for example, uh, the, the Salat al Eid. So, it doesn't mean congregation in the sense that the five daily prayers everyone gets together. It means those salawat where the people get together for like, so it's like an occasion, you could say. Salat al Istisqat, the rain prayer, Eid, and uh, eclipse, and you know, those type of prayers. So, that if that is the case, then the answer is. True. How many other prayers does the prayer have? Eight. 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 Putting the left foot under the right leg is done in the first the last, one. The last one. Increasing and shukr to Rabbana uh, like alhamd wa shukr is recommended. Is it permissible? So you get it from Ruku and you say, Subhanahu Muhammad, Rabbana wa like alhamd wa shukr. That impermissible, it's not uh, prohibited. It's Okay. Um, it's because it's not been narrated. Um, putting the forearms on the ground in frustration. Oh, sorry. Yeah, one, disliked. One second. I missed this one up. Uh, Allah, forgive me and my parents between the two frustrations. So you're adding your parents. Rabbi Khfirli, Wali Wali Day. Permissible? No. Rabbi Khfirli in the hadith. Putting the forearms on the ground uh, in the frustration is. Disliked. Disliked. La, disliked. Well, Sheikh, no, Sheikh, it's in Muharram, Haram. Because the Hadith, uh, the Hadith prohibits it. The Hadith prohibits it. How many reasons are there for the Sudu Sahu? Two. Oh. Two, why? Three. What, what are the two? One was if you're in doubt, and one was if you uh, leave off something, you leave off a obligatory uh, or wajibat for, out of um, forgetfulness. Okay. Well, what's the opposite of leaving something up? Oh, yes, know. yes. Adding something. So three. Three good. Right. Uh, after the completion of act of worship is not considered. Uh, likewise, if the doubt is a lot. True. Mm. Yeah. So after you've done it, then you get the doubt. You don't. You don't look at it. Unless it's certainty. Unless it's certainty. Right. Uh, the regular sunnah of fajr is distinguished from the other regular recommended prayers with virtue, being light, being light meaning being short, reading specific surahs. Praying it while traveling and laying on the side after praying it at home only. True. True. Yeah. This has all been written in the hadith. Right. Uh, 28. Mention the ruling of the following. The prayer of the one who insults the religion. Invalid. Invalid until he, until he repents. Um, the prayer of a drunk person. Not accepted. Why? Uh, because there's a hadith where the prophet said that a prayer, prayer of a drunk person is not accepted for 40. But he still, he still has to pray. Okay, without a hadith. Without a hadith, another, another reason. Because okay. it's not the same. It's not saying The condition is not there. Yeah? Obviously, the condition is taken from the hadith. Right? Uh, the prayer of the one who has Alzheimer's disease. Depends on the severity. Depends, yeah. Uh, uh, okay, if, you know, he, he doesn't have aql. He, his sanity is not there. And not accepted. Um, the prayer of a child uh, depends it, again. Depends on if he's whether reached they the can anchor. differentiate. Well, yeah. So if it's under tamiz, not accepted. After tamiz, accepted. Uh, prayer prayed without ablution due to forgetfulness. Yeah. Invalid. Invalid. Okay. Um, prayed whilst wearing an impure shirt out of forgetfulness. 
Valid. Valid. Mm -hmm. the, the urine of a cow. Pure. No. Yeah, it's pure. The urine, the urine of a crow. Uh, impure, because it's a impure. predator. Yes, impure. Um, prayed with thighs uncovered. Invalid. Invalid. Prayed before time had entered out of forgetfulness. Invalid. 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 Mm. Pray in the plane. Uh, I don't know, it depends. No, it's valid. It's valid. It's valid. Yeah. Oh, okay. Because I'm not sure exactly what it means. <laughs> okay. Um, intends generally to pray the obligation on that of the intends generally to pray the obligation of that specific time. Oh yeah. yeah. Valid. 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 Yeah. Okay. Um, so when he gets up to pray, he does not have the intention of praying asr. He just has the intention. I'm praying whatever's obligatory upon me now. It's valid. Uh, he prays sitting. Valid. Depends. Depends. Explain. Uh, if he can't stand and he prays sitting, so it's valid. But if he can stand for for an obligatory prayer, prayer, then and he sits, it's invalid. Then. How about Nawafil? No, I feel he, he, it's uh, his choice. He can pray sitting if he wants. Good. You got the half to reward. You got half to reward. Good. Uh, forgot to recite Surah Fatiha. Invalid. Invalid. Join the prayer and quote the Imam whilst he's in Rukur. What was that? Uh, he's caught it. Quote the Rukur. Praying quickly. Invalid. Invalid. Uh, uh, much, much doubting after the prayer. Ignored. Uh, ignored. Uh, doubts if one has ablution after beginning the prayer. You go with what's certain. Doubts if one has ablution after beginning the prayer. No, it's fine. He he doesn't pay attention. Okay. Okay. Um, what's happened to my screen? Can you still see me? Uh, you're yeah. frozen. Yeah, you're frozen. All right, you can hear me though. Yeah. 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 Okay. Right. Um, where are we? Uh, yeah, forget and did an extra bowing. Sujud Yeah, forgot to initial Allah Akbar. Uh, invalid. Uh, he didn't enter the salah. Yeah. Uh, forgot the first tashahud. Valid. That's fine. Uh, forgot the last tashahud. Invalid. Invalid. Valid. Uh, yeah. Um, uh, doubts if he or she has prayed three or four. You go with what's certain. Most uh, most probable. Say that again. Go with what's more certain. Go with what's more certain. And if it's 50 50, then you go with what's less. Then you go with what's less. Doubt after the prayer. Ignored. Ignores. Okay. Uh, doubt during the prayer. Uh, it depends. Ignored if it's less than 50%. Carry on, you carry on. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, okay, if it's on the uh, number of rakat and stuff, then yes. Uh, uh, but if you talk about general doubts, then you can look at them. Doubts while while on the. How is that? No, the, 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 the English is a bit. Okay. Uh, he has uh, doubts. The Arabic says sahaf is sahu, meaning he forgot to do sujud sahu. Is that? Okay. Yeah, if you forget to do Sudha Sahu, then it's fine. But that doubts while on the prostration of forgetfulness, I don't know what that means. But the Arabic is Sahaf is Sahu, which basically means that he forgot to do Sudha Sahu. Then it's fine. There's nothing upon him. All right, spoken a prayer due to forgetfulness. Valid. No, no, valid. Yeah, it's valid. If, forgetfulness, yeah. if it's oh, forgetfulness, he said something by accident, uh, then it's fine. Then it's fine. Um, prayed whilst the private parts were exposed and did not find out except after the prayer. Invalid. 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 Uh, making ablution at home before leaving the prayer. Invalid. Invalid. Huh? Why are you saying Invalid. recommended? <laughs> sunnah. It's sunnah. It's sunnah. Yeah. It's recommended. Right. Selling in the masjid. Prohibited. Uh, haram. Prohibited and not accepted. Right. Okay. For some reason. It's not working at all. One second. Uh, give me one second.
Right. Okay, right. Okay. Um, where were we? Yeah, sorry, I don't know what happened. My screen froze all that time. Selling in the masjid. Selling in the masjid. Exchanging currency in the masjid. So I give you for a five pound note, I'll give you five one pound coins, for example. Invalid? Prohibited? No. Yeah. Invalid, prohibited. It's not like that's the that's type of transaction. That's the type of transaction. We will really take in Babu Muhammad. Joins the prayer whilst the Imam is in the last Tashahud. Does he join or not? No. Yeah, he joins. You guess he joins. He joins. Uh, fast. Facing. facing an object. Okay. Facing He's an object. Yeah. When uh, praying, so no one passes in front. Taking a sutra. So putting an object in front of you. Recommended. Oh. Recommended? Yeah, recommended. Uh, small movements whilst in the prayer. Valid. It depends. Disliked. Yeah, yes. without, without necessity. Oh. Uh, many, yeah, without necessity, then it's, uh, it's disliked. If it's with necessity, it's permissible. Many unnecessary movements while praying. Invalidates. Uh, praying very quickly. Disliked. Invalidates. Invalidates. Abrahamic supplications in Tashahud. Recommended. Or Rukun. Oh, no, uh, yeah, no. And which tashahud? The last tashahud. Last tashahud, then it's a. a, a it's a pillar to, to send like this one person. Yeah. Uh, speaking while praying. Depends. Well, remember, like uh, if it's intentionally then valid. If it says a word or something in, unintentionally, then then it's fine. Uh, moving while praying. Depends. Depends on what? Uh, it depends it on the five sense. things we mentioned. Yeah, the five different rulings that we uh, mentioned. Okay. Forgot to recite Surah Fatiha. Invalid. Invalid. If he's able to go back and recite it, then he, he goes back. And then Surah Sahat again. Right. Uh, Jum'a prayer. Obligatory. Obligatory. Uh, Witter. Highly, rec highly, highly recommended. recommended. Highly recommended. Praying before sitting in the masjid. Obligatory. 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 You don't say anything else? No? All right. Obligatory. Um, I mentioned differences between a conditional pillar obligation and uh, rec recommendation or recommended action. This is the same as uh, the other one, right? Yeah, yeah. It's just the same as the table. Same as uh, the table. Uh, I think it's the same. Yeah, it's... it's um, yeah. Just before the description. Page one of the two. Yeah. So basically, so basically that. Amid that, Alhamdulillah, we have finished the fiqh salah. And by the way, this book, by the way, is very. It's a, even the, the fiqh which is mentioned in this book. It's a very very good book. It, the main thing ever that like we're gonna take, inshallah, the fiqh book in level two. But you'll find that the majority of what has been mentioned here is it would already be mentioned there. But um, not everything, obviously, because this is just the most important thing. But this is a very, very important book that you should give a lot of importance to. And if there was, if there was one book from the Soul Syllabus that I would teach, it would be this book. Because it has everything it has tafsir in it. It has the important parts of the aqidah, important parts of fiqh, mannerisms, and everything. It's, uh, anyone asking, this is, this is just this book by Arabic. This just isn't the Dulce Muhammad in Arabic. Is it available? Should be. I got Sheikh Hassan gave it to me, so that's why I got it from. Okay, uh, with that, Alhamdulillah, finished today's lesson quite short. Uh, are there any questions? So, like I said, there's no lessons until uh, so no lessons in July. I'm really, really busy in July, and after that, inshallah, I'll be free. I'll, I'll have a lot more time, and then the plan is be Allah, maybe have a lesson every single, even you know, at least at minimum four times a week, inshallah, minimum four times a week, and we try to finish as soon as we can. Be Allah. Was any questions before we leave? If he's uh, Roshan, if he's able to, able to go back to the Rukun, then he goes back to the Rukun. Oh. Yeah. Do you join the prayer while the Imam in last Tashad? Yeah, yeah. You, if the Imam's in last Tashad, you join and you, you, you catch the Salah. 
You walk in the masjid, the imams in the last shahud, you join, you join. Okay, fair. We'll stop there then. Subhanakallahumma alhamdulillah. Ilaha illa. Astaghfiruka wa tawwiri.